Hello, okay, we've got a nice easy one for you today. I'm not using the timer so you can work at your own uh, pace, so you can rest whenever you need to. Okay, so I'm using some four kilo dumbbells today and we're going to start with back squats, which means the weights are going to be up here onto the back. Okay, up onto the shoulders, take the feet wide, sink back into the heels. We've pushed back first before you start to go into that squat position. Push the bum back, and we're going to do 12 of these. You ready? Slow. Come up, and again, slow. And lift. Squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward. Okay, we've done five. Watch your feet aren't rolling inwards. Take the weight to the outside of the foot. Nearly there. Two more to go. Last one. Coming down to the floor. Okay, I'm going to come this way so you can see me. Take the elbows wide. Push the hands up towards the ceiling together. Come back down and again push. I'm going to do 12. Go quite slowly as you come up, come down for one. So about five counts coming up. Six more to go. Nearly there. Another three. Watch the ribs are down. Last one. Ooh. Up you come. Okay, so we're going to go into a lat pull down. So you can do this standing. I'll do it seating so you can see me. So we're going to have the palms facing us, lifting the arms, coming back down in front of you, nice and slow. And then lift. So we're working the muscles in your back, in the middle of your back. Almost like you've got a bar and you're pulling yourself up. This is an easy version of a chin up, which is quite hard when you've got a bar sort of above the doorway. You're going to be holding onto the bar and you're pulling yourself up with your own body weight. Really good for developing strength in the back and dropping the shoulders. Going for 12. Rest if you need to, guys. for two more. So if you sit a lot this is going to be quite a good muscle one for you to do to really stop that rounding of the back so the muscles don't get longer and weaker. Okay then we're going to go into lunges. So we're going to do 24. Now if you've got room you can do the walking lunges. I'm obviously not going to do walking lunges because you won't be able to see me. So I'm going to do them here. Okay so I'm just going to come down and come back up. There we are. Nice easy lunges. Now if you want to, the weights can be on your shoulders. Makes it a little bit trickier. Nearly there. Alright, watch the form. That back knee goes down towards the floor. We've got two more on each side and watch the knees stay in line with the hips. If those knees start to move out from side to side, you'll feel pain in your knees. Obviously that's not the plan. Last one. So that's 12 on each side. Oh, and now we're gonna use one weight for 12 to 15 swings as if you've got a kettlebell. So if you've got a kettlebell, use that, okay? So I'm just going to use this, I'm not sure I'm not going to hit anything. Okay, I'm going to go for 15. So here we go. One, no higher than your shoulders. Two, three, four, 
five, six, sit back into it, seven, hips forward when you come forward, eight, nine, do it from the side, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh. Okay. So now you're going to press pause or stop. You're going to rewind and you're going to do that two more times. So three times in total. <clears throat> Depending on how long it takes you to do them, make sure you're not exercising for more than 20 minutes, okay? So even if you haven't finished, um, which you, you might do within 20 minutes, that shouldn't be a problem really. But um, just in case you're going really slowly and you need to have quite a few breaks, or you need to go have some water or something like that, so just make sure that you're not doing any more than 20 minutes. Enjoy, and I hope your breath wasn't sweaty. Thank you.